For to Randolph County, Juneteenth is bringing history into the present by recognizing families who were enslaved throughout the area. And the effort to remember each and every one of these individuals comes front and center in a temporary memorial outside of the Randolph County Courthouse. And I'm just proud that the NAACP are honoring enslaved families today. Say their names and remember their sacrifices. That's the meaning behind this memorial on the Randolph County Courthouse lawn. These atrocities happened. So that's the history that I want to make sure people understand. If you walk up to this thing and you don't feel something. These thousands of names represent a history of hurt, but also a hankering for hope. It's a somber day because we are acknowledging people who were denied. But it's also a happy day because five or six years ago we couldn't have done this. And so we are moving forward. And even though the moves are only an inch by inch, we ain't going backwards. Forward together, not one step back. Juneteenth is a reminder of not only how far our country has come, but also how far it still has to go. And I work hard to make a difference in the community because these children that's coming behind us, this is who I'm fighting for. Using records from the county's register of deeds, these names were found. Female Mariah, June 13th, 1859, Need of Trust. And they're displayed here this week so that people don't forget. I was overtaken by emotion. It's just like that, that's 1,205 names of human beings that were bought, sold, traded, given away right here. And these are the people that we stand on their shoulders today. And I'm proud to be an American. I am proud to be an African-American that stands for what's right. Sometimes I have to stand by myself, but I will always stand for what's right. And that memorial will remain up outside the Randolph County Courthouse from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. through Saturday. And other Juneteenth events include a march from Greater St. John's Baptist Church to that memorial at 10 a.m. Saturday morning, and then the African Heritage Ball will be held on Sunday.